Ooh, had to run back. We're out of chicken feed. Well, we're not out of it. Or just I just need to get them some more chicken. Chicken feed. They are eating a lot. I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know how much they take. We don't have a lot left though. So we might have a problem again. I think we need to start figuring out what kind of revenues we're getting from the eggs for the chickens and try to figure out if it's worth the feed. And I feel like right now it's not. When we don't need a money sink right now. Alright, let's get them this food. I don't think that'll be the end of it. Indeed. Indeed it is. December afternoon, still have a few things on the go. I just had to take a break. And, uh... Alright, let's get back to our field. I think we're almost done with the with the harvest. Uh, I left the truck over there, so... And what else do we have going on here? We still have a little bit more of this hay to pick up. Mostly done. Uh, let's get back to the contract first, though. That's the big one. That's money. Alright. That's it. That's the last of it. I am going to let... Um, yeah, I'm going to let the, uh, the contractor... The contract... Uh, how do you say that? The person who issues the contract. Usually it's the contractor or the contract E, but that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's just get this delivered. I think we're going to make a, a little bit of money on extra grain. And... Uh, I think we can just shoot it through here, I think. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and then the contract will pay out and uh, we'll be all set. We'll be all set for the day, and we'll just finish up our chores, and call it a day. Lizzie's making some roast chicken for dinner, which is one of my favorites. Okay. Looking forward to meeting uh, Lizzie's kids. I think they're showing up this weekend. Not sure. Not sure. I should really pay attention. But we'll have to have a talk about... Uh, we still have some work to do for the fall, so there's no real rush to start developing that piece of land that we, we just purchased. Um, it was very exciting. Lizzie was real happy about it. But... Um, uh we've got stuff to do but we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna fund the greenhouses that's that's a big that's gonna be a big uh upfront cost all right Let's finish this up and that is fantastic we made almost $9,000 in extra, uh, all, more than $900 in extra feed. An extra feed, oh, I'm so tired. The day's been long. An extra grain, I'll leave this here for them to pick up. To get back, actually, I should, I, I should really just bring this back. 
I need my pickup truck and it's it's parked over by the field, so why don't we do that? That's fourteen thousand that we have in the bank now, which is fantastic. We're gonna have to order another bunch of chicken food, I think. Um yeah, we really don't have any 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 made. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. That's that's not working out. The math isn't working out. We may have to sell some chickens. They reproduce so fast though. I'm not sure. We'll see what Lizzie wants to do. I guess, you know, it's not all up to me. I've made a big decision. The grain mill is still not uh, back in operation. They're having some problems over there. Uh, I made a big decision. Big, big decision. I am going to resign. I am going to resign and farm full time. Yeah, it'll be a little bit less income, but um, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Look at it. Look at our bank account. Yeah, the job. It's uh, it's gonna be less income, but uh, we'll be able to focus. I think we'll in the end it'll net out more. We'll make more. I just have so much work to do around the farm. It, uh, it only makes sense. Given the way the grain mill is going, um, I think it's almost inevitable that someday they're going to pull the plug on me anyway. Uh, they've got a lot of people that have been there for a long time. I'm, I'm the first one out the door if they need to cut back. So, it, which is fine by me, honestly. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to bump somebody that's that's been working there for a really long time. Um, they're enjoying their work. What? Why? You know, it just make doesn't make sense. I've got other options. I'm still young. I'm still a young lad. Not really. All right. Let's finish up this hay chore right away. Still haven't figured out where I park stuff. I think we'll go back in this garage, this shed here. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, why don't we centralize all of our truck components and whatnot up in here? I think we're going to try to add some more tools for this truck. So this is a kind of a hayloft, but it's not being used for, for any hay bales or anything. It's a good safe place. All right, let's get down to the field. I'm considering plowing this field out and starting anew. There's parts of the field that aren't growing properly, and I think um, we could optimize the soil. I'm not sure yet. If we, it's, I think it's one of those if we have time things. done here. This field is a little close to the fence too. Well, this took out part of the fence. Luckily there's no animals in here so nothing's gonna run away. I got thinking um, 
this is a grass field and uh, it's set up you know to be taken care of and harvested uh, but we actually have a lot more grass around the property and uh, I think it would be good for us to mow that grass as well another when we have time kind of things I don't know what winter has in store for us this year we're gonna get a lot of snow or not okay that's it we'll call it we'll call it complete Um, let's pop that right in here. Line up a little bit better. There we go. There, right in. Okay. I'll have to feed the cows some more. Now, I have some, I have uh, what I need to make um, total mix ration, which is a premier kind of cow feed, and I think I need to start considering that. I have the tools to do it, I have the raw materials to do it, so I think that's something I need to consider. I don't know um, how to mix it though, I'll have to figure that out. Some a little bit of homework to do. Let's head over, feed the cows, and I think that'll be it for today. Okay, um, I think we're just going to do hay for today, and then I'll figure out how to do this. I, I, I really don't know how to mix it, so I've got some homework to do. So, let's, uh, actually we could store it right in here if we wanted to, which is interesting. How much hay do we have? We don't have much straw in here. Maybe we don't have what we need. Might have put some straw in the uh, into the silo. Okay, we need to move over a little bit. We're gonna spray too too far over. There we go. That'll be better. their boyfriends where's the other one there she is better close this door okay I think we'll give them two well no I'm gonna wait and see wait and see what we have let's disconnect that Okay. Yeah, we've got some work to do in September. Now the big problem, big problem coming up is the um, sugar beet harvest. We don't have equipment for that. So I've got some concerns. We'll just park under this shed. Let's see how we're looking. How far along are we? Oh, I think we still have a bit of time. That's okay. That's okay. Let's check out the corn. Beautiful evening. I'm getting a bit hungry. 
too early for dinner though. How's our corn doing? Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. As a matter of fact, I think this is going to be ready before, before the sugar beet. Okay. Oh, another chore I need to do. We have, we finally got some lettuce that's ready. And some more strawberries. Okay, I have one more little chore to do. Good, I have time. Let's get this little guy. She start working on her mixed salads now, which is going to be good. Okay, one. Good puppy, just watching. Okay, let's get this into the into the little workshop. We're done chores for today. Let's check in on our pigs, make sure they're okay. Looking good, lots of food, they've got straw, they're healthy. That is awesome. Close up shop. These guys are doing. Okay, looks good. Hungry, hungry chickens. They're not putting out many eggs. So I'm not sure what the problem is there. Let's close up everywhere because I'm lazy and I always leave everything open. Dinner for the pup. There we go. Glad I don't have to knock anymore. Okay, let's sit down. Let's make some phone calls. Let's see. Start the planning, I guess, for the greenhouses. Wall is here. Look at those bright colors. Soon, it won't be too many leaves. Okay. We have more jam ready. Excellent. Chickens are putting a few eggs. Not much though. I wonder if it's the season. 133 eggs for 253 chickens. And they went through about a third of the food that we gave them. How's our little family going? They're doing okay. And let's check in on the cows. May as well get everything done. We've got more strawberries ready.
I think our corn is ready, so that's going to be the order of the day, I think. Ooh, we have lots of manure. What are they doing in here? They have lots of food. They're good. They're good for a while. And we got a little bit more milk. That's okay. All right. Okay, so it looks like our cornfield is going to be our chore for today. Lizzie's kids are here. They're awesome. Nice people. They are going to be helping us for the next little while. They're going to stick around. Oh, wish I could lift that up by hand. Oh, sugar beet almost ready. The corn is ready, though. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. How's this looking? Oh, we've got weeds. We've got weeds. I don't have equipment to deal with that either. So I guess we we need to get some we need to buy get some equipment today. I think we have money. money you know, it's it's uh it's a good time right now. I think honestly, um, we're going to have to do some of the more local contracts if there's some available. Because I don't have an income now from the mill. Okay, let's get our harvester. I've got to check on this old header here. It's, um, I haven't really looked at it yet. So we're going to give it a, a wash down, have a look, make sure everything's working okay. I actually didn't consider that it might not fit this particular harvester. That would be a big problem, wouldn't it? See if we can get this connected. There we go. It does fit. Good. See if we can get it running. Well, it seems to be operating. Let's clean it up a bit. I can see better if there's anything off. We'll start our harvest. We'll get some help. The kids know uh, the equipment. They've done it before. They've worked with uh, with Gavin. So we got a we got a skilled team. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. All right, I think that's good enough. Looks good. Let's climb up on here. Everything looks in place. I think this is going to be fine. Not a problem. Let's get this corn harvest started.
This harvester is pretty good. Well, it's kind of like an old dependable model, you know. It's uh, sturdy, simple enough, but it's it's got some features, um, but it's not you know overly challenging to work on. Okay, try to get my rows lined up properly here. That looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna be good. All right, get this done. Been a while since I've done row crops. You got to be a little bit more precise in your work. Well, looks like I'm get, getting some help, which is good. I'll, I'll run the trailer. Now, the idea was that. They're putting in this corn that by now we would have bought the uh, the popcorn mill back uh, popcorn production but uh, that didn't happen yet so I'm not sure what we're doing with this corn Okay, nitrogen is bad, and we're going to need to take care of this field. Okay, so the kids have decided they're taking over. Well then, what am I doing? What am I doing now besides carting a few more strawberries? Maybe we'll do some shopping. I want to trade in this plow. Um, it doesn't work well with our tractor. So I think I need something a little bit different. I think we might move to a subsoiler. So why don't we do that? Uh, get the tractor out. We'll get the that plow, pick it up, bring it to the store, sell it, and see what they'll offer us. Now, we do need sugar meat harvesting equipment. It could be a bit of a challenge. We could lease, I suppose. Yeah, it's a little low. I think it causes problems. Well, let's head, head over to the store and we'll figure out what we can do. Take the back road.
We never did get a price on what they want for it. Always stop in for a second. Okay, way out of our league. Way out of our league. $60,000 is what they're asking for. it. That's more than what Lizzie sold it for. Well, Lizzie and her husband sold it for. So, I don't think we're there yet. Unless, unless the bank is willing to work with us. I don't know what Lizzie's credit situation is like. She hasn't really talked about that. I don't know if she has a debt load. Um, I just never felt it was a good, you know, proper thing to ask. But I guess it's a discussion we should have. Um, my credit is okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I have no debts. Um, I did have struggles a few years back, so there's a little bit of a tarnished, tarnished part of my record, but it's not terrible. Well, we'll see. Okay, let's drop this off over here and see what we can see what we can get. Okay, they're willing to give us twenty four hundred for it, which isn't much. I guess it's something. And we need to replace it. Um okay, let's go let's go shopping, I guess. Okay, I couldn't get anything for a good price for on a plow. There's some nice items, but they're a little bit too expensive for us right now. And uh, we don't have an urgent need. Uh, that field doesn't really need to be plowed. So I think we're going to wait a little bit and see if something comes up. Maybe used. Um, actually, I forgot to ask them if they had used stuff. Well, it's a bad shopping day. I did buy something. I did buy something. But, unfortunately, it's not all the equipment that we need. I got this older refurbished again. They do a real good refurbishing job here. Um, let's have a look real quick. It's a beet, sugar beet harvester. It'll pull beets out of the ground. It might be a little slow with this equipment. It's not the not the premier equipment but we should be good the problem with it the problem is that um, I need something to remove the tops before I can use this and they have nothing except really expensive new high-tech equipment which is gonna be a problem uh, we can't afford that we like I wouldn't even have the money to buy one now so we're going to try to find something else somewhere else, and if we can't find it, then um, I think we're going to have to lease the, the high-tech one, but uh, it just feels bad. But this is a good piece of equipment, though. I think this will do us well. I guess the real key to... key item is or you know key point is you know, we have to be able to pull the beats out in a reasonable amount of time before they they go off so i think i think a trip to the bank is inevitable i have to sit down and have a financial decision um well discussion first and then and then make a decision with uh with lizzie and see where we want to go do we want to do we want to get involved in debt yeah and and again i don't know what her situation is so she might be fine she might be in deep trouble you know she did they, she did struggle a lot after her husband asked but it hasn't been that long <laughs> um so um she hasn't had that much time to get into trouble if you know what i mean
Okay, I'm glad though. I'm glad we got this piece of equipment. And one more thing we need to find a spot for. Too close. Okay. Well, I think it was a good trip. Um, that said, we still have more more to do. Okay, let's go check in, see how they're doing. I don't think I got help with the. Uh, with the trailer, so I think I'll jump on that right away. Oh, we got a fair amount done, so that's good. Maybe we'll get this done by lunch. I did order a delivery of uh, herbicide. Uh, I would prefer to not be spreading herbicide, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, maybe we could pull those weeds out. One more thing to maybe buy or lease or whatever. Okay. That's a good size hopper in that harvester. Okay, looks good. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. We will carry on. We'll carry on into, uh, we'll stay in October for the next one. We'll finish up this harvest, try to figure out this solution. And if I am not mistaken, uh, our sugar beet will be ready in November. I just have to double check that to make sure. Yes, November, so. So we we might uh, we might carry on into November in the next episode. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we have to have a look and see if there's any good contracts to make some more money. Will we go to the bank? Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you guys have a great day.